Bruce here, out at Cherokee Guns Pistol Range. Came out to do a little maintenance, and I thought, well, while I'm here, might as well do a few. So, I thought, well, let's do some testing. As a lot of you know, I collect lead and cast some of my own ammunition. And reload it. Well, load it. It was virgin, so. Load, reload, eh, tomato, tomato. Also, I powder coat. So, my question was, well, how accurate are these? People always poo-poo reloads or cast or so let's test it let's see what it does so today we're going to use this nine millimeter carbine carbine it's kind of a amalgamation of everybody thrown into one we've got a little vortex crossfire on top a dot about a one moa dot it will do also have some base ammo blazer nine millimeter brass which if you can keep a secret i tested about 10 different ammos nine millimeter makes model blah 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 blazer brass came out very very consistent in fact that's all i shoot for competition i'll take that back it's been a couple years since i've competed but in my carry gun nine millimeter man okay let's get to it now we're using Glock style mags here's some of my killer B the powder coat with the yellow and the black dot kind of a Saturday Night Live so let's blast a few okay I've got it set up on the stand so be pretty steady but this is just a fast and loose we could have brought out much better stuff where are we gonna top let's go for that top right and see what we get All right. sensitive close enough give me all right, a little bit for the OCD that's oh, come on stop messing with me there we go oh yeah uh, oh. all right enough good the, uh, eep, don't breathe on it all right the microphone kicks out a lot with loud noises so if it goes in and out in and out good we're focused on target so you won't see me inserting the magazine good even though they're low capacity magazines per YouTube rules. Hearing protection on. Ugh. Ow. Oh. It's the first video I've done in quite a while. I was down for a few weeks. I had something in my lungs that would not quit. Alright, you ready? Well, I'm ready. Oh, load it. Very good. At least I didn't do the embarrassing pull the trigger on an empty chamber. Okay. That dot takes up a lot of real estate. Really should have put on a scope and make it finer. Okay. Let's give this puppy a try. Hear that? I don't know if you can hear it. If that mic reset or not. But that's the reset. You hear that little click afterwards? You pull the trigger, goes bang, and then release slow until it resets.
Now you can see it better than I can. <laughs> I'm looking at this big huge dot. So I won't know until I get back there. Yeah, maybe one more. All right. That was it. Oh, all right. Let me get back to the camera. See what we have. You already know. Oh, all right. Yes. It's accurate. That works for me. Once again, should have had a big old honking scope on it. But we didn't. So. It's been fun. Yes, my cast ammunition and loaded works for me. Didn't know until we try. Now we know. Oh, if you like the range, which you should, oh. once again, we're in Murphy, North Carolina. This is the Cherokee pistol range. And once again, I was shooting nine millimeter, which is pistol caliber ammo. But private range, limited to 100 members only. And also, the home of Cherokee guns concealed carry classes. But if you want a private range, this is the one. It's not crowded. Well kept. Clean. Neat. The targets have not been blown apart with shotguns. Like our other Murphy, North Carolina range. That gets totally abused. This one is well maintained. How do I know? I take care of the targets. I know. So anyway, from Cherokee Gun Range, Murphy, North Carolina, this has been Bruce. And today we're at the range so we didn't drink any shine. But remember, as always, drink more shine and eat more bacon. See ya.